540 right now this morning we're continuing our partnership with Asante to bring you better health. Blakely is sitting down with Asante health expert Beth Koderger to talk about staying active while working out from home. It's time for Better Health. I'm joined here with Asante's health expert, Beth Coker. Of course, we are practicing social distancing once again. Beth, a lot of people working from home these days. What kind of impact does that have? Working remotely can look like an incredible schedule set. It gives you a little bit more flexibility. You save some time on not having to commute to work in the car back and forth, but can also pose some problems for your health. You're on WebEx conference calls for long periods of time. You take telephone calls calls. So it leads to a sedentary, unhealthy lifestyle because of sitting so long. That lowers your metabolism, that raises your blood pressure, it raises your cholesterol levels, and it puts some weight on around your waist. And that's never a good thing. It also makes those muscles in your lower extremities a little bit tighter, and it can play some havoc on your health. So you probably want to get up and do some movements, do some exercise if you are sitting down for those long periods. What are some easy ways you can get some exercise in while you're at home? It's a must to stay active while you're working from home, and it's not hard at all. Wherever you are in your working environment, have some exercise equipment nearby. You have to treat your exercise time just like you would a client conference call or a meeting and schedule that time into your day. And if you have exercise equipment near your chair, you'll pick up a set of dumbbells or do some chair squats right there in your office area or use TheraBands or stretchy bands or have a jump rope there that you can do some jump roping. Some people put a mini tramp by their uh, office computer and they jump on the tramp for a while, but schedule those breaks on our phones, on our watches. We can put little alarms on there that tell us it's time to get up and move. You should be up and moving every 60 minutes, if not more than that. And there are some real good tips to do. If you are a morning person, get that jogger walk in before you start working in your office. Or if you like your lunchtime walk, take that time out and go for a walk over your lunch hour. So every 60 minutes, and if you don't have exercise equipment, grab the milk jug in the fridge, maybe some water bottles. There's always something yeah. you can use, right? Jog in place, you can do jumping jacks, you can do push-ups on the floor. There are so many things you can do, just being creative with your exercise space at home. But the key is not to sit too long and get moving. Some people are even doing conference calls, walking around in their backyard, walking through the neighborhood as long as they don't have background mm. noise. Just make it a real mental exercise to get up and move or your body is going to really deteriorate the longer that you're sitting. It's detrimental to your health. All right, Beth, I like that. Set an alarm. It's going to remind you and just get your body moving every 60 minutes.